Hi, this is going to be a quick and fast overview about how I did the synoptic for monitoring the hot water system that I have at home. Um, the purpose here is not to talk about my uh, hot water system. The only idea that I want to do with this clip is check if there is any kind of interest for uh, going deep on understanding how to do those kind of synoptics in an easy way, how I did. At the end of the day, I didn't program HTML, neither uh, JavaScript for a long time, maybe more than 20 years, something like that. Uh, and I want to share how someone who didn't do that for a long time can uh, join some pieces and create something, let me say, useful, not nasty. I don't know if it's na uh, nice, but not nasty at the end of the day for overviewing the real-time status of uh, a physical system. Uh, using HTML, of course, this is completely compatible with my mobile phone, with my tablet device. Um, and so far, I didn't have any problem with uh, any browser, either Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and currently you, you are seeing that using Chrome, of course. Um, then, uh, how I did that? Uh, just I used uh, an online SVG editor, to be more precise. So, uh, there is a web page called designergravity.io, this one. Then I draw that as a, um, yeah, as you can see, it's a simple draw. The main peculiarity is I used groping for any part of the the draw, the vector draw that I want to uh, lately modify using the the DOM structure. Um, I used arbitrary names for those parts. For example, now I'm selecting the mode part and I create the group of things called mode. In this case, only just one text uh, field is inside that. For example, this is called T1. Inside that part, there is a rectangle and a text uh, objects. Okay, when I finish that, I save that as a, an SVG file. And later, <clears throat> I created a static HTML file, as simple as that. And the first thing that I do with that uh, HTML5 is load that SVG file that I created <clears throat> and give a, an ID to that object. Uh, later, <clears throat> I, I'm going to use MQTT for uh, subscribing to the data coming from from the hot water system and using the very simple uh, JavaScript file, I will orchestrate all those parts. Okay, maybe now it's time to take a look on that uh, JavaScript <coughs> file, so how it could be this interesting for you. Um, in the first part of the document, I create a function just for uh, getting the synoptic element. And later you can see a lot of uh, simple functions for uh, modifying the DOM. In this case, as you know, the DOM is, uh, is an XML file. At the end of the SVG file, it's an XML file. And then I, I find the proper parts of the of that file for uh, being updated when any updated data comes from uh, from MQTT. Here there are the subscriptions of MQTT. And later, uh, when I receive a message on any of those subscriptions, I just call the, the functions which modify the DOM structure. Okay, and as I said previously, the, the DOM structure, it's uh, nothing else than the SVG file. Okay, um, I think it's it's pretty simple to understand how I did that. And as I was saying at the very beginning of the video, 
um, I want to check if it makes sense to go deeper and create uh, other videos uh, going to the detail about how I did that and why it could be interesting for you. If uh, some of you leave a message, a comment, sorry, uh, on, the, on, on, on this clip asking for more details, maybe I will take that into account for creating so detailed uh, information about uh, all those parts that I presented in this short clip. See you. Thanks.